Hello, today I'm doing a Craig Pest State of the Fleet Address. Let's just say it is very orange. So first one we're going to do is this 1959 Morris Minor right here. I've had this car over a year and it's been working brilliantly until last week, a little bit before then, when the, I've had this problem before. For some reason though, it's getting worse. The clutch is on the floor. And I'm going to do a video about that uh, sometime within the next two weeks. But the clutch pedal, there's a, there's a pivot on it. And the pivot, let's say, let me just draw this out. Okay, so here's your chassis rail. Oh. Here's your chassis rail, okay? And here's something else. I'm not sure what that goes into. And in here, there is, you have your clutch pedal and that pivots and goes to your clutch. Here's your pedal. This pivot is falling out and it's causing the clutch pedal to go down and the pivot not to do anything because the pivot is now down here and this won't move. So that is what's happening with the clutch on this car. But other than that, it works very well. I am going to do a series coming up in a couple months, I think November, uh, Morris Minor Repair, where I go through and just fix the stuff that I forgot to fix in, rest in the restoration. So. We'll see that. We'll also see a new paint job because I didn't do the paint job right, so I'm going to repaint it. Same colors, of course, but uh, yeah, I am going to repaint it and I'm going to put a headliner in because it doesn't have a headliner right now. I'm just going to go through, fix everything again, and that will be an entertaining YouTube series, which will be fun. I'll run that f one episode a week. It'll, that'll actually be pretty good. I'm going to buy a new camera to do it, actually. Uh, but I'll run one episode a week, and uh, it'll actually be pretty high quality. Next one, the 1974 MG Midget. I haven't done an MG Midget restoration video in quite a while. Um, but the brake lights still are not fixed because I broke the switch, and I keep forgetting to order a new switch. Uh, but I don't think, I think it's a wiring issue too because I shorted the two contacts, to, the two wires on the switch together and nothing happened. No lights went on. I had the ignition on and everything. Nothing happened. So, uh, yeah, but this car will start right up. It's a very, very good car. Oh, and the Morris Minor, I forgot to tell you, I replaced the brake master cylinder, which was an awful job. But, um, yes, back to the midget. This thing is actually working really well. Uh, it's basically perfect other than the brake lights. So, yeah. Except it isn't perfect. It's mechanically basically perfect. Um, the rest of it, though, cosmetically, the interior, it could be a bit cleaned up. It is a little dirty, but other than that, it is pretty good. Um, I did drill drain holes in the floor. So that's good. There's no puddles in her this time. I came in. I, came, I sat in this car once. So there was a huge puddle in there and down in the passenger footwell. But um, yeah, I might go with a top replacement at some point in the future. Probably not a full replacement though. Probably I'll stitch these up. Probably replace the window area with a different one because that is quite broken. The whole thing. The whole window is completely cloudy. You can't see anything out of it, which isn't good. But this thing is almost done. It's a pretty good car. Let's just do a quick show of the front end. It's, oh, lift the window open. I forgot to close those last time I drove it. But, um, yeah, there's the front end. It's actually in pretty good shape. Let me go over and close this vent window before I forget about it. Okay, and now we're moving to the little Valmobile here. This is a 61 Valmobile. It's a Hirano Valmobile PSA. That's what it is, a Hirano Valmobile PSA. And it's beautiful. It'll start right up, but I'm not going to start it right up right now. What I'm going to do with it is, um, well... It's a, basically, it's, this thing is a museum piece. There is actually one in a museum, the Lane Motor Museum, which has a whole bunch of cool stuff, has one of these. 
And if you're not familiar with the Valmobile and you only watch like the Morris Minor videos and the MG videos, the Valmobile is a scooter that was originally made in Japan by, I mean, not Japan, but in France by, oh, I don't even, it's very, it's, it begins with an M, the, the guy who made it. Began with an M. And he was not very successful at making this thing. So we, so production moved to Hirano in Japan, where they made it, and the main American United States, I, I mean American, uh, distributor for these Valmobiles was in New Jersey. And that would explain why I have one. But, yeah, that would explain why I have one. And I bought this thing for $50 from Cars Under a Thousand in Mine Hill, New Jersey, same place where I buy all of my cars because they are extremely cheap. But yes, this Valmobile here is beautiful. I'm going to review this thing because there is not a review of a Valmobile on YouTube. There's a bunch of videos riding them around, they're, but they're mainly foreign. The one American one, by foreign I mean not in America. Um, the one American one is just a one video rebuild series that is from some other channel. And I have done the most documentation on YouTube and VinWiki of a Valmobile. So, yeah, so that is going to work beautifully. But this is the Craig Pest State of the Fleet address. Thanks for watching.